Insubordinate. Churlish. No stranger to a prison cell. That's Lucas. You had to credit the SOE. They were very good at spotting talent in the unlikeliest of places. And Lucas had talent. He was a skilled demolitionist with an explosive temperament and a sharp tongue. Out there in the desert, the rats of Tobruk were like a family. Unfortunately, they never did figure out how to get along with the brass. Today, princess, I'm savoring the moment. I'm so sorry. Of course you are, your highness. Hey, Bluey, wake up. You're gonna want to see this one. Oh, fuck me. Play the damn cards. <laughs> All right, Des. Read him and wait. Oh, you fucking donkey! No way! Why the bloody hell aren't you at your post? Uh, Major Hands, we thought... We thought you'd muck around. Major, convoy's approaching. Right. You rats, follow me. I'll try and act like real soldiers for once. Sir. Oh, yes, sir. No, sir. Three... See? That's what a real soldier looks like, mate. <laughs> Way to stand up to him, Bluey. Good job, buddy. Fuck off, Des. What are you even doing here in the first place, huh? He's a major. He can do whatever he wants. You're lucky. I was about to make me come back. Shut up, Des. You've never beat me at anything. What? Ah, oh, mate, pull the other one. Explosives are ready. Lucas and I set them ourselves. Sir? Man your position. The timing must be perfect. I need you all to focus. You got eyes on them? I have to call the pad. Hang on now. What's that in the lead? It's really quiet. I suppose I'll do the honors.
I've gone up in smoke! Sir, there's still one truck down the ridge. Well, then take some rest and get after them, Jake. Let's go! No good for sniffing around the dirt. Shouting to this way. Bloody hell. Oi, this ain't on our maps. Keep down. We aren't equipped for this. We can take them. Are you mad? You got me and Lucas. Found something. You read Kraut? A little. Of course he does. It looks like one of Rommel's officers checked through here to visit a camp up the way. I don't know what kind. I don't recognize these symbols. Then we go take a look. If the Krauts just lit up the sky, more could be coming. No, we return to base, report to the Major. We can't report a thing if we don't know what it is. That wouldn't be good soldiering, Jacobs. Fine. We'll scope it out. Let's tread quietly this time.
road should take us directly to the camp.
through here, quickly. This way. I'm going the only way, you dickhead. That's enough, Des. This isn't a joke. I need a drink. Talk with your man, Hans. He's got plenty. What? He's never shared a sip from his fancy flask? <laughs> well, there should be plenty to go around. He's a bloody lightweight. If I ever get my hands on that wanker's flask... <clears throat> Wash out, fellas. Hang on. There's a light up ahead. Down the German camp. Where is everybody? Probably out looking for us, I reckon. Hold on, what's all this? Who cares? the fancy bugger. Seriously? We're gathering intelligence. Something you obviously lack, Private. Hilarious. You sort your papers. You know what I see? I see a ton of shit outside that goes boom. And what do you suppose we should do about that? Uh, well, we should blow it the fuck up. <laughs> That's what I call a target bitch. Motor pool on the left. Hey! <laughs> 
explode from the inside! That was glorious, Lucas! Wait, you guys hear that?
Yeah, that's more like it. Stuk is coming back. Watch out. of Italian Libya, an Australian private and a group of rats had given Rommel a huge black eye. Their actions should have earned them medals and maybe even a shred of respect. Hams didn't see it that way. Their reward was some time in the brig. However, all Richter seemed to care about was Rommel and his connection to Freisinger. That fool would listen to Lucas as long as we needed him to. Oh, oh. I caught tunnels. What was the rest? We have very little time. Tell me, what did Freisinger want with Rommel? I thought you wanted to know about our team. Answer me now, or our deal is off. Okay, okay. Don't get your undies in a twist. Lucas piled it on like a chap. He didn't have to tell Richter anything more than the lies that Nazi already told himself. That was the Third Reich for you. Their reality was delusion. You'd think we'd need a miracle for Lucas to pull this off. The thing is, he was like a magnet for that kind of luck. There's that saying about lightning striking twice, yet Lucas had managed to find himself first at Tobruk and then at El Alamein. The world knew of an Allied victory in North Africa, but it wasn't because of British commanders or mighty tanks. Lucas had the untold story, and Richter was eating it up.